A chunk of Chinese rocket on a collision course with Earth has crash landed in the Indian Ocean. China says rocket remnants rain down near the Maldives, south of India. State media reports most of the debris burned up upon re-entry, like most things that fall from space do, putting an end to days of speculation over whether a populated area could be struck. If you're going to send things up into space and you know they're going to come back, you want to have a controlled re-entry, not an uncontrolled re-entry. With a lot of nervous eyes turned skyward, people in the Middle East reported sightings on social media. Just hours before the splashdown, we had no idea where this 22-ton hunk of metal would land. You can see in this video from the night skies above Japan how the flying object was tumbling out of control at about 30,000 kilometers per hour. And that's why it was so difficult to pinpoint the possible impact zone. NASA's administrator put out a scathing statement accusing China of failing to meet responsible standards regarding their space debris. China's rocket, the Long March 5B, which is the size of a 10-story building, launched a piece of the new Chinese space station into orbit, but was then left to hurtle through space uncontrolled. This is the second largest uncontrolled re-entry in the last, well, the last couple of decades. Uh, the previous one uh, was the previous version of this launch uh, last May. And that one rained pieces down in eastern Africa. With water taking up most of the Earth's surface, China always said there was little reason to panic. <laughs> Tweeted one Harvard astrophysicist, an ocean re-entry was always statistically the most likely. It appears China won its gamble, unless we get news of debris in the Maldives. But it was still reckless. China seems to be launching these very large rockets or planning to launch more uh, with no way to bring them back in a controlled manner. And that's not, you know, something that is normally done. Launches of the Long March 5B are expected through 2022 as space station construction continues, meaning more pieces of China's space equipment could be left to fall where they may. Karen Siolin, City News.